Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of TypeScript, we will talk about some options which is helpful for our code quality improvements. Yes, we know that TypeScript basically provide the typed option, but they also provide some code quality improvement option. I can show you. For that, you have to go inside the TS configuration. Here we have four options. First one is no unused locals, no unused parameters, no implicit returns, and no fallback through case switch cases they four options are really important so let's say you are working on a big project and you just define some uh, uh, local variables inside of functions but you are not using them due to the complexity you may don't know they are used or not used that time typescript will help you and tell that these variable are used or not used same with the parameters and maybe uh, in a function there is a lots of condition but in some conditions you are not returning the value that time maybe this condition is not uh, useful or maybe we are just by mistakenly forgot to return the value and uh, last one is for uh, the break statement in switch so i will show you how these four things will uh, improve our code quality so now let's start so let's say with the app dot uh, ts we have a function and let's say our function name is fruit right or fruits and here I am just returning something. Let's say I am returning here true. And I am calling it function now from fruits like this. This is really simple. And let's say I have a variable. Let's say we have a variable with the name of data. Its value is 10. But this is not used here. We know that because there is only two line inside this function. So maybe in these functions we have 20, 30 or more than uh, 30 files in a line, in a function. Uh, so how we can just uh, get to know that this variable is used or not in our this function. That time basically TypeScript configuration will help out. And if I am just uh, uncomment this first option, no unused locales. And let, let's come back here. Now you will find that we have a warning uh, with this uh, data functions and it say that data is declared but its value is never read, read. So let's see if I am returning this that time this error will be gone. Right. So this is the first option. So with the second option let's uh, try with the another one. So let's say I am just passing here some fruit name with let's say apple. Uh, let's say pass orange. I will tell you why I am passing orange within a moment and after that I am just getting it let's say item right again you can see that we are not using this item inside this function but we don't have any error so if I am just enable this the second option which is no unused parameter we have a warning here which is a uh, item is declared but its value is never used so if I just return this item then this error will go on. This is the second option, right? All right. So let's say with the another option, which is uh, no implicitly return. So let's say we have a orange or uh, it can be a string or it can be a number. Let's say it, it can be a number. I know that uh, orange cannot be a number, but let's pause for a moment, right? And here, what I'm just going to do here, I'm just simply putting here if item is uh, orange right then we can return uh, item else just console dot log or we are not uh, console dot log and let's put here simply like else part right here you can see that our if condition is only useful because we are returning value from only if condition. We are not returning something from else. So we can remove it. But how we have to know that if you have the uh, big function and all. That time if we just enable third option and we will come back here it we can see that okay all code uh, not all code paths return a value. Here we can see that. So if I am just returning here something like return false and something then this error will be gone so it will tell basically that we are not returning this function properly 
this is really helpful right so now let's talk about last one i am just going to remove all these things uh, this one also so let's say i am just going to use a switch case and uh, a switch case i am checking the value of item and here let's say we have a case one uh, it can be fruit orange can be fruit right and uh, i am just consoling here console.log let's put here this is a fruit right and maybe we have a second condition which is a case color because orange can be a color that's why i just put here orange right uh, here i can just simply put here console dot log this is a color here we can see that everything is working fine there is a no issue at all right but still there is a issue i can show you let's enable our last option and now you will find that there is an error because after using a condition we must have to break things like this right now we don't have any error so these kind of silly mistake can be resolved with these four options thank you so much for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel